I noticed that uh, Sephora Burn, mm -hmm. Jimbo, Matt, all on the Green Energy Advisory Task Force. But I also noticed that Hemin Institute, the Institute Foundation, and uh, Sephora, as well as Forest Ethics, a group that you co-founded, all were the groups that criticized the NDP's campaign platform, climate change platform, and supported the Liberals' climate change policies right at the start of the elections. Is there a coincidence there? No, I don't think there is. I mean, if we excluded everybody that criticized the NDP's platform, we'd be left with very few people to choose from. So to be honest with you, I think we have a great cross-section of people that are on that committee. I'm looking forward to the work that they're going to do and the recommendations that they can come forward with. Is, uh, why isn't there more environmental representation on those task force groups? I mean, you've only got basically three environmentalists. Well, I think we tried to get a broad cross-section of uh, all organizations to the best of our ability. But the key factor is we're accepting uh, information from everybody uh, in British Columbia, whether that would be individuals, whether that would be groups uh, that would like to put forward information to any one of these four task groups. Uh, so we're looking forward to that as well, not just the work of the committees, but the public input that will be received by them and reviewed as well. Thanks very much.